Hi, I'm Ann. And I'm Kevin. And I'm Noah. And we are on our way over to go check out a brand new uh, RV um, resort Noah. area. And this is Noah. And he's going to have him right over with us. And we're going to go check out this RV resort and we're going to take you along with us. We'll see you in a minute. Come on. I want to know you, but I don't know how. Cause every time I bump right into you, I get all tongue tied. Want you to know me, but I'm way too shy. I can't just go around admitting that it's you I like. I wish that I had guts enough to flirt a little, but I'm too scared I'll fail. All right, so we're coming up on the park right here on the left, Pecan Park or Pecan Park resort rv resort and uh, right here in the front is the the front office we'll pass right by it but it has a beautiful lake right there as you come into the entrance and it has a beautiful brand new pool right here on the right as you enter so this property has two pools that you can enjoy this is absolutely beautiful it's brand new Looks like it has a little community center as well. It has everything you want to do for the week right there on their board. And then here are all the sites. On the left they have their cabin sites. And let me tell you the pricing real quick. As we roam by. So the cabins are on the other side. <laughs> but these are nice. I like these middle pull through sites. These are nice as well. Okay, the cottages, which are these cabins on the left, their daily rates are $148 per night. Weekly rate is $685, and their monthly rates start at $2250. So there you go. And then uh, for the um, camping sites, they start at $80. some of the premium campsites they have a very nice fire pit very nice those are really nice to have when you're here at nighttime a little bench to sit on and there are also pull through sites which is really nice when you pass me by sometimes you look my way and say my name So it does have extra parking for your extra vehicles. You can drive a golf cart here in this area. And here are the campsites we were looking at. They're right here on this beautiful little lake. Very nice. And then if you go up around this corner, which that's what we're gonna do, and check out the other side of the campground. sites and here is the community center it has bathrooms and the laundry center is right there it looks like it has a little community center right in there and then here on the left or is the pool and there's a playground over there too here is the playground and then on the other side there's some cabins And here are the other sites. Now these are not the premium. The premium ones have a fire pit um, connected to the site, but these are really nice. They are fully paved um, sites and then full hookup as well. These also include cable, correct? Yep, Wi-Fi. 
Wi-Fi and cable. They have planted plenty of plants that will grow here eventually. Um, which will separate the campsites from each other so that you're not um, right on top of your neighbor, which is really nice. But it's going to take a year or so to for those to grow. Oh, well, we'll grab this one because it's wide open. Bathroom, shower, pool, tile. So there's shower rooms. Very nice. Let's check out the laundry. So this is site 53. It is a premium site. It has a full hookup and as well a fire pit with a nice um, picnic table with it. Great site. And this is right across from, there's a lake right here. And then there is, it looks like tennis courts. And then back behind there as well is a basketball court. So this is a great spot for my grandson. So we'll see you soon. All right, we're gonna go into Flamingo Lake, which is the sister of the Pecan, 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 whatever you wanna say, um, RV resort. And we're gonna see what they have. So then we can decide which one we wanna go to in the next few weeks. Looks like the comfort station is right here on the right with a laundry. And then there's a registration office right here on the left with a general store. Oh. That's nice, a store. Yeah. Oh, and the pool's over on the left. We'll get that on the way out. Looks like they may have golf cart rentals, bike rentals. Mm. Nice. Ooh. Ooh, the only thing I see different is that the other one was completely concrete and this one is not. Anybody say this is Florida? <laughs> I would not be swimming in the lake. Just saying. Oh my God. Miss Ann is not getting in the lake. There's too many alligators. Oh yeah. Too many willow boogers. Oh, I didn't notice that. That's a comfort station. Right here, showers and laundry. You see the geese and the, the little baby geese? Nice. Yeah, it does look like two beach areas. Fishing only. Here's your fishing spot. No swimming. Looks like they keep it really clean, which is nice. And here's a little swing. Cute. And a picnic table right here on the lake. And these are paved. Yay! That's the sites that I would like paved. There was a cabin. Here's a couple spots right here by a little lake. I want to know. 
know you, but I don't know how. Cause every time I bump right into you, I get all tongue tied. Want you to know me, but I'm way too shy. I can't just go around admitting that it's you I like. I wish that I had guts enough to flirt a little, but I'm too scared I'll fail. I wish that. Next to the registration office is the pool. Has a nice little playground next to it. It's a small pool. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like fun. Thank you so much for joining us today on our tour of the Pecan RV Resort and the Flamingo RV Resort. We'll give you our reviews on what we think about what where we're going to stay in the next couple of weeks. And then we'll also have vlogs coming out um, for when we stay there. So that stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It looks like fun, doesn't it, Noah? Yeah. Noah wants to go swimming in the lake. <laughs> no? <laughs> No, this is Florida. We are not swimming in the lakes here in Florida. All right, you guys have a great day. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you real soon. Bye. 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 All right, so on the way home from seeing the um, campsites or the RV sites, we're going to stop here at uh, Gander RV. We love to look at the camp stuff, and they have a ton of camp. They have this Coleman out here. We're gonna take a quick look at. It's a smaller one than what we have. This is a 16 foot and it does have a bunkhouse. These are the stairs I wanna get. We are looking into getting up here. So let's take a quick look at what they have. All right, screen door. Nice. All right, so right when you get in the door, you see a nice, Queen size bed, storage up top, which is nice. And then they have a little banquette. This is like half the size of ours. You know, one person it looks like can fit there comfortably. Refrigerator, microwave, bunk bed. That is smart just to have a microwave just because we cook outside all the time. I bet it's a confession oven, convection oven. A nice sink though. Look at the sink. And look at the bunk bed. A little bunk bed. And the toilet. Which is awesome. No door. Alright, come on out. Let me take a, a little video back there, bud. It has no door. It does. It's right here. You slide it across. Full size fridge. You should get that. Yeah, it's a really good size fridge. Oh, slide that across. Wow. I think this is bigger than ours. It's really nice. All right, and there you have it. Looks good. There's a window there. Is there a window down below? Nope. But they do have one of the exit doors right there. And then there's storage down below. But there you have it. All right, so they got some grills on sale camping, recipe books, Noah's looking at, some griddles, black stones, not a bad place at all, 129 Yeah. All your grilling. So one thing that I like about the camp store is that everything is super cute, like these mugs. So cute. And they have all kinds of gadgets for your camper.
All right, we're back here for a wrap up. We've uh, visited two RV sites today. Uh, their sister RV sites, Pecan Park and Flamingo RV Park in Jacksonville. Uh, it is north of Jacksonville, actually near the Jacksonville airport, if you're familiar with the area. Both of these are about five miles within each other. Flamingo was the first park. Pecan Park is the second park. Uh, they are the same owners and uh, operators. And so pretty cool. Flamingo Park being a little older, uh, had some uh, differences in it. It had larger trees, lots of shade. Uh, it was a, uh, a large um, lake, if you will. I had two swimming areas inside the lake, uh, sitting areas around it. Really cool, uh, different feel to it. Uh, kind of an old old nature feel to it. The uh, had a place to go and eat, uh, general store. Uh, had really kind of a cool feel to the whole park. It was more of a resort. Uh, I don't know if you'd even need to leave if you're there a week or less. Anyway, so that was a neat place. Um, all of those things, all those amenities kind of come in, in uh, included. Uh, and so lots of families there, lots of kids. And so a good feel to the place. Pecan was a new park. And so it was had a great feel to it. It's very clean. Uh, but the planting, all it was new, wasn't a lot of shade there. And so that was something that you have to kind of prepare for. The uh, showers were absolutely incredible. I mean, incredible. So it's like if you remodeled your home and- It's brand new. Uh, yeah, it was it's stunning. And uh, there was two pools there, one in the front and one in the back of the property. The uh, amenities were great. Uh, clubhouse uh, on the front and the back of the property, laundry accessible. So uh, really cool. Uh, both of them are excellent places to go. And if, uh, you ended up at either place, I think that you'd be happy. Uh, I think we're gonna try to Flamingo first uh, before we go to Pecan Park, just because- So he gave it yeah. away. So we are gonna wait, we'll save oh. that to the end. But right, well, some of the things that <laughs> Some of the things out. that we liked about the Pecan was that all the sites were concrete pads. None of them were grass pads or gravel. They were all concrete pads, which was really nice. And we really enjoy that. That way we don't get the pebbles in the house or in the RV or the grass all in the RV. So we really like the concrete Yeah, the flamingo pads. was not all concrete. So that was, okay. there are many, many concrete pads at the flamingo, but not all of them. So that's something to watch out for. Yep. And then the showers were brand new. They were phenomenal, tiled beautifully. They were gorgeous. And of course it's a brand new yeah. park. So it was really nice. And that's not the same case with the flamingo. It's an old park, so there were older facilities not to say they were bad but they're older facilities so yeah so and then um, we liked the the pecan had two pools so they had one in the front and one in the back of the park and of course our next highlight was it was extremely clean very very clean and uh, um, we don't know if that's because it's brand new that they're, it's clean or if they're really just taking great care of it right now I'm sure it's they're taking great care of it the last thing that we really loved about Pecan Park is it's you could either love it or absolutely hate it, but it's in the flight line for Jacksonville Airport. But we loved it. We loved to see the airplanes coming in and literally the airplanes are right overhead. I'm going to include pictures, a picture right here of the airplane coming in, but it was really like right over your head and you could read the whole bottom of the airplane. I thought that was awesome. About 100, 150 feet. So yeah, pretty, I thought it was close. really awesome. Some pretty people close. might not like that, but I loved it. Those aren't small planes either. No, those big were the big ones. Yeah. Okay, so at the Flamingo, what did we like at the Flamingo? Yeah, the two beach areas, I mentioned that. The two beach areas uh, on either side are, uh, they're cordoned off so that you go in just to, uh, it, it shows that you can't go out into the middle of the lake. Because by the way, we live in Florida, and so you're not the only one swimming in that lake, right? And so they do have it sectioned off. I'm not off. swimming. <laughs> uh, beach, they have beach areas on both sides of the lake. And so it's very comfortable, very soft, very family friendly, and uh, a lot of different activities to do around the water. We, we didn't ask, but they have to have some way to know that there's not a gator in the water. Somehow they've got to know or be aware of. I don't know how, yeah. but I'm sure that they do to allow swimming in the lake. All right, and uh, the next thing at Flamingo that we really enjoyed was? Yeah, the golf cart rentals. Uh, they actually had it at Flamingo. They don't have it at Pecan Park yet. Uh, I guess it's because it's older and it's bigger. And so if you go there, you probably need, I mean, you, you can get a bike and bike around, that's fine, but uh, the golf cart makes it a little bit different and feel to it. 
we like to loop and so we go we would just ride around the entire park in between the uh different rows and stuff so that's something we enjoy doing looking at all the different campers but uh they have golf cart rental on on site and then you can bring your own too all right the next thing that we liked about flamingo was there's a cafe on premises a restaurant uh yeah. probably uh, we didn't stop and uh, look at it or get anything to eat, but there were people eating and uh, it was open for business. And so that's kind of neat. You don't get that on a, a lot of campgrounds, a actual restaurant on site. So that was awesome. It was like a cafe though. It looked like you could get hot dogs and drinks and sodas. Yeah, and, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that was perfect. And then the next thing that we liked about it was... It was a lakeside, uh, spr not screen, lakeside swing <laughs> and uh, right on the lake and under some trees, a beautiful picture. Mm -hmm. I mean, just a gorgeous picture. Had a swing and a picnic area. Uh, just really, it really pretty. relaxing. Like Very really nice. like, you know, grab your yeah. soap pop, your, your coffee, whatever it is. Yeah. Right, go have a seat and relax and watch the water. And what did we see? We saw geese with their babies. And that, that was, was really neat. Yeah. yeah. And then the last thing that we liked about uh, Flamingo Park was? We had a general store, uh, which is not something you all get either. And it wasn't a small store. It was a big store. And so this was, uh, like I said, you could probably stay there five days or less without even leaving the place and not be bored. It was plenty of activities and plenty of things to do. Wi-Fi on every, you know, throughout the whole Wi -Fi park. Wi-Fi and cable. Uh, mm -hmm. Cable at every site. Uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a good deal. And we're gonna enjoy it and we'll have to post another video. All right, uh, so where are we going? Which one did we decide upon? So we decided, there was the two. It was Pecan and Flamingo. So we decided now in the beginning, we were going to do one park versus the other. Yeah, we're going to go to Pecan because, you know, it was new. But we, when, when we went and viewed them and um, went through the parks, we decided that we are going to... Flamingo. Flamingo is the winner. So we are going to go head over for, to Flamingo for a couple of days. Yeah. So we'll put yeah. that video uh, up soon and you guys can enjoy it with us. That's so right. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to do that. And, and thank, you thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for spending our afternoon with us. We had a great time. Yeah, it so great. It, we hope that you come back and enjoy the vlogs. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.